Hey everybody, it's Erin at Scandalous Beauty and I wanted to share with you some of the products that are department store quality but a drugstore price. I'm going to do this video by highlighting a brand at a time. I have a feeling this video is going to be a little lengthy so in the about this video section you can click on which brands you would like to see and the video will jump right to that chapter of the video. I really want you guys to understand that um, I don't just use department store products. It might look that way, but that's because I don't do videos every day and I don't highlight every single product that I use because I just don't put out that many videos. Um, but a lot of people voice their opinions about me making more videos, so I'm going to work to do that. And I'm going to highlight a lot more products than I usually do. So, let's get it popping. First brand I'm going to highlight is Crown Brush. I'm going to highlight Crown Brush because it is a brand that I found at the makeup show, which is a pro only event, and they set up this really really big long uh display in the back of the the um convention and their brushes are stupid cheap. They range from like two bucks and three bucks to like 10 bucks, 15 bucks, and you can get brush sets and all that. I'm gonna show you the ones that I have that I'm not crazy about first. Um, this is um, a fake skunk brush. Not fake, I don't mean fake. It's a skunk brush. I just don't think it's good at all. Um, it, it's too flimsy, it's small, it's a funny shape. I just wasn't crazy about this one, so I don't use that one. Then I bought this brush, the C110 Taper Powder Brush. It's just too hard. It It's not soft at all. Like, I want to be able to feel like I'm putting, like, mink on my face when I'm using a powder brush or any brush. It doesn't feel that way, so I wasn't crazy about this one. I got it for, like, 10 bucks. I thought it would be a great sub for the um, MAC 150 brush that's, like, 55 bucks or something like that. But, no, it didn't do that. Um, my next goal when I go back to the makeup show is to get some, get a kabuki brush from them. Because I remember feeling the kabuki brushes and they were very, very soft. They felt no different than the expensive brands that I've played with time and time again. But I didn't buy it this time. I can't remember why. Probably because I didn't have any more money. That's probably why. Um, then, some of the cooler brushes. Okay, this is the C139 Stiff Tapered Crease Brush. This was probably four bucks. Three or four brush bucks. This is I couldn't find the brush here um, I don't think but it is extremely comparable to that new Mac brush the 226 it was like a limited edition brush or something like that very very small it's kind of stiff but it really gets in your crease well or if you want to get under the eye and kind of blend and all that this is a great brush four bucks four bucks it's not the same height like it's a little shorter this is the 220 um, four brush for Mac and this is this brush um, and it's, it's shorter as you can see um, but I don't know I just I really really like this brush the the cheap one from um crown brush this by the way I custom did that I did a video on that if you want to see I use nail polish to do that on my brushes um, so that's a great one another one is this one that does not have a name on it um crown brush i need you to get on that this doesn't have a name on it and you can look on the site and you'll probably see it but it's like a pointed brush it's a pointed um like crease brush or a detail brush really really good stuff um it really gets in the area well the point is great it's a good quality it feels expensive i like this brush a lot i bought two of these i bought two of these and i also bought i have like five of them now but it's a it's a brand that for the most part I can say I'm I'm quite comfortable with them um, I like a lot of the stuff that I've used except that face brush oh you know what else is bomb I just got this I think this was like six bucks this is their small foundation brush six bucks feels no different than any of the expensive brands that I've ever used I mean it's just as soft it really um is flexible really gets in those crevices well I really really like this six dollars um yeah, it's good stuff. So I don't. I use this for like moisturizer, sometimes foundation, sometimes when I'm just trying to lay stuff like that. But this is a really good brush. So crown brush is great. Inexpensive. Next, let's go over lashes. There are 
three brands that are I always use. Red Cherry, Ardell, and Sassy. Um, like right now I'm wearing the Ardell, I mean the Red Cherry number 505s. Pretty natural. Um, they're cool. They're not bad. And then um, the ones that I always wear like in almost all of my videos, the Red Cherry WSPs or the DWs. They range depending on where you live. I have a friend who lives in Hawaii who says he pays a dollar each for red cherry lashes. Um, I went to the beauty supply store here in Maryland, one at the mall, and they were six dollars. I'm not paying six dollars for red cherry, Ardell, or or sassy lashes. These lashes are typically around three bucks, three to four bucks. Once in New York the other day, they raised them from three bucks to four dollars at Beauty Thirty Five. Um, so I wasn't really feeling that, but or maybe they didn't. Maybe I'm lying. No, I think they said $3.99. So, um, I only bought one pair. But they have great lashes. I don't purchase department store lashes anymore. Except if there's something very, very um, distinct about them. Like, if they have a certain kind of feather or a certain kind of color. Or they do something very extravagant that the other brands don't do. As far as an everyday kind of lash or whatever, these are awesome. I mean, I, I adore them. I don't leave them and I'm pretty much like sticking with them so they're great you got to really play around and figure out what kind of lash like what number lash and stuff you wear but you know feel free to go through my videos and check out you know what I've got on I'll always list the name of the lash and the number you can kind of see me model them all right so for foundations Black Opal, I've talked about, and I feel bad because if you're not brown or caramel-ish, I guess I can't really include you on this one, but um, I have to say I'm quite the fan of Black Opal Foundations. I also, um, because you guys had asked for it, I'm trying to give it my Iman Foundations another chance. Um, this is the Mon Foundation. I'm an NC50. This color is Clay 5. I don't think that this is a bad foundation. I would prefer my black opal foundation, but I don't think the Iman is bad. I just feel that it is average. I'm the kind of girl who would rather have something that has too much coverage and I have to use a little at a time and build it up versus having something with not enough coverage and I have to keep applying it over and over to get more and more and more and more coverage. So um, as far as this goes, it's definitely not a bad product. If you want light coverage or medium coverage, this is great. You're going to love it. This is actually all I really have by Iman right now. Um, I have a lipstick I use in the nude video. But this is really all I'm going to include in this video. But Black Opal Foundations, I did a whole video on them. And I adore them. So today I used the Iman on the very inside of my face in Clay 5. And I used the Beautiful Bronze by Black Opal around the perimeter of my face and I I love these I do I love them so yeah um they're both around 10 11 bucks here in Maryland the next brand I'm going to talk about I found out about um through Julie G and um the brand is called Jessie's Girl they have these pigment type products this is, um, they were like four bucks here. Um, of course, the, the price will vary. These are very pigmented, very soft. They work really, really well. So this color here is Sunset Boulevard. It's an eye dust. And it's a really, really pretty color. I like this color a lot. It actually looks to me like MAC Rose Wow, MAC Rose pigment that I hate because it's completely chunky and I hate chunky pigments. They, oh, they irk me so badly. So I never use it. Then I found this and I was like, oh yeah. Now get this. This kind of messed with my mind a little bit. So there's a video I did called Makeup 101 Building Your Kit or whatever. And I wear this eyeshadow. It was one of those days where I just took a little something, threw it on, kept it moving. The color I wore was Makeup Forever number 926. It's their star powder, right? Love these. I love these to death. So I I, I love this color too and, and, and the whole product. Anyway, I get to Jessie's Girl and I find this product. Now this is like, Jessie's Girl is another company that just refuses to put the product name 
on the the item jar that's whack to me because I want to tell you guys what the heck this is called and I can't because there's nothing around it. Now I thought it was like something like cafe au lait or cafe latte or something in that you know area of names but these are literally no different at all. They last the same, they look the same, there's no difference. It was like Makeup Forever put their star powder in a Jessie's Girl little tin and sold it for $15 cheaper. I, I don't even understand it. So kudos to Jessie's Girl for that. But those are all of that I've tried. I've got four of the um, colors, but that is a really great product that you guys might want to check out. Flirt Cosmetics, available exclusively at Kohl's. I think that their products are Mac's little sister. Just like Jessie's Girl, it's like Mac put their stuff in a flirt box and made in, in flirt packaging and made it a few dollars cheaper. So, um, my lips. This lip color is a nude lip um, that I found at Kohl's and it was 20% off. And you got to sign up for stuff. Kohl's, I mean, flirtcosmetics.com and Kohl's.com. Check them out and sign up for their newsletters because when stuff is on sale, you get the stuff discounted. So, their stuff is almost department store price. Like the lipstick was 12 bucks, which was somewhere around here. It's called Miss Temptress. And it is beautiful. Like it's beautiful nude. It looked just like the amplified lip sticks by Mac. And I threw this on. I loved it. And it's great. So it's $12 regular price, but it was 20% off during the sale because I signed up for the newsletters, which I advise you to do. And I got it for 10 bucks, but sometimes it's cheaper than that. Sometimes you can get it for 30 or 40% off. So I love their lipsticks. Um, I have a few, um, this is ultra gorgeous red. It's probably gonna look orangey red on the screen, but it's a really true red. And also, um, this is ACE, a hot pink. Uh, this I love to death. And then there's a bunch that I wrote down I was actually there texting myself the names of the colors so that I can write them down and save them. I wrote down 10. Yeah, so I really, really like their lipsticks. They're awesome. And I love their eyeshadows. Like I said, this is seriously like Mac's little sister. Mac's cousin, right? I love this duo. I mean, this quad. 16 bucks. But you can get them, or 14 bucks, one of the two. But you can get them on sale. So this is Mod Black. I don't think they make this anymore. I think it was limited edition. But um, they have so many. And I'm, I'm highlighting them right now for you. But they are so great, 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 great. I love the quality. Um, you'll get four colors for, you know, 14 bucks or 16 bucks or whatever if you don't get them discounted. And they are stellar quality stellar quality i do like nyx eyeshadows i do like milani eyeshadows but flirt eyeshadows are bomb i love them they have so many mac dupes like you can literally go in and say oh my gosh that color looks just like vex probably because it is vex and that color looks just like pink freeze by mac oh maybe because it is pink freeze and if i want it looks just like amber lights and you're like that looks just like amber lights probably because it is amber lights so flirt is a company that has definitely got it on lock Next, I want to cover Ben Nye, which is more of an artistry brand, but they have some things that I think would be great for kind of like everyday use. One thing that you've heard me talk a whole lot about is the banana powder, which I got for seven bucks at some random store. Ben Nye is one of those pl places, I mean, one of those brands where you're not going to find it at um, conventional makeup places. You're going to find it at specialty makeup stores, um, like dance stores, um, theater places like that, special effects type places like that. So the best things for you to do is Google Ben Nye and buy it online. Um, to, a lot of you have told me you've done that. That's definitely what I have done in the past. Also, I Googled Ben Nye and then I Googled Maryland or DC and I found it at some random spot in DC. I don't know where the place is because I don't know DC like that. I just got on the Metro one day and asked for directions and found it. So this is great because you can use it all over the face, all over the face, and it works well for so many different skin types. 
I mean, skin types and for skin colors. So yes, it is yellow like this, but it can be used for various things. Like you can use it for all over face. You saw me use it in the nude lip video to kind of matte out my lips a little bit. It does not give a white cast. So just use a bit. I think a lot of times we'll, we'll pick up powder and like, we'll take the powder and we'll have so much powder on our brushes, but you really don't need a lot. Like see that little bit, that little, that's all you need. And then you can kind of just put it on like that. My mirror doesn't work. So I mean, my thing, yeah, that's cool. I'm not looking at much of anything. So hopefully I'm not looking crazy, but yeah, it's a really great pop product, a great color, a great universal color. I also have the Coco Tan color. Never used it. I've always just used the banana. This is great and everything. I think actually, I'm not, could be wrong, but um, RuPaul's Drag Race, one of my favorite shows. Yeah, I think BB Zahara Bonet used this. One time I was watching her do her makeup and she had this orange thick powder on, you know, to do that highlight. And I was like, I think that's better not Coco Tan powder. So it might not be, I don't know. But so, yeah. Um, but the, this was fine. Also have the, um, the neutral set which is comparable to like the Mac Invisible set and all the other brands that have stuff like this. Um, I don't use it that often. It's colorless and weightless and it works well if you have like really bright colors, like if you're doing like special effects and all that and you really want your stuff to stay, you can use this. You just need a little bit, but I don't even reach for it. Honestly, I reach for the banana powder. So it's a great product. It's, I mean, it's good and it's inexpensive. You can get them in smaller sets than that as well. And Ben I also has cream foundations i bought these for my kit these are the first foundations i really bought for my kit um they were seven bucks each so just search online for that too i just bought a whole bunch of random colors i didn't know what to use on people i was so confused when i first started so i just bought random colors and then i would kind of just mix and match it takes practice but you just kind of mix and match and do your thing so milani Milani used to be one of my favorite brands, but it kind of fell off to me. The the things that I use now, the single eyeshadows, which apparently are discontinued, but I found them at random spots that were like either slacking and not pulling the stuff out from their um from their you know displays or whatnot. But these were really good eyeshadows. These um like i've already told you nyx eyeshadows are pretty good and then the other thing i like from them were their glosses the crystal gloss for lips they weren't thick but they were they were good they weren't well no they were kind of thick not uncomfortable thick but like they give you coverage thick i really like these this color is whisper they had the old baby um dupe um, which is called Serendipity. They have some gold. They have a lot of colors, but they're cheap. This is like four bucks or five bucks or something. And these are like four or five bucks. So, um, yeah, those aren't bad at all either. CoverGirl Queen. I want to say a lot of great things about CoverGirl Queen, but I just really can't yet. I don't, I've never tried, I haven't tried a whole lot of their stuff. Um, I've tried their, their foundation. And I did a video a long time ago, two videos on drugstore foundations that work well. I wore these in the video. I wore this in the video and it was not, it didn't look great. I wanted to say it was lighting and all that, but I can't because the lighting is, it was the same lighting I'd always use. So I don't know why it looked that way. Um, these aren't bad foundations. I used the color Warm Caramel. Um, wasn't terrible, but I still prefer my black opal. Something that I have to give a better review than what I gave on the video, I think, um, is this Natural Hue Minerals Bronzer in Ebony Bronze. This was not bad. I think I put it on before. I might have used too much. So it made me look muddy. Like, I just looked like I kind of had brown, like dirty brown on my cheeks. Not cute. But I tried it again with a lighter hand. And I was watching the Sam Fine DVD. And not the DVD. I was watching the preview. I don't have the Sam Fine DVD yet. But um, I saw the previews of it. And I was watching him just with this light hand. And I think I was a little too heavy handed on myself that day. This is very pretty. I actually showed um, this on my blog as well. And I think this is really um, not bad at all. If you're a brown girl looking for a bronzer. Um, and it's pretty dark. So I'd say if you're darker than me you can rock this too.
So NYX creates a lot of products as well that are, um, you know, you can find them in a lot of places. They sell them not at beauty supplies only, but at beauty supply stores only, but at like um, Ulta and places like that. It's pretty easy to find. A product that I think is their, their standout product. Their shadows are good and everything. I haven't tried the jumbo pencils, but I heard they were great. Um, the product that stands out to me that changed the way I really looked at um, inexpensive makeup, their lip pencils. I mean, a pencil is a pencil is a pencil at the end of the day. So I'm, I, I have their eye pencils, but I use my other eye pencils, so I don't really use the, the other ones. But their lip pencils are no different to me than any of the department store lipstick lip pencils I have ever tried. I said this in my other video. This Espresso number 820 Espresso pencil is literally, literally no different than my Chestnut by MAC. No difference at all. I could not believe it. I could not believe it. I swatched it on my hand. I put chestnut on one side, Nick's on the other. My aunt actually, Aunt Elena, hey Aunt Elena, I love you. My auntie was like, we were talking about it on the phone and she was like, I ran out of my chestnut and I really don't have time to go to Mac. I said, girl, go to the beauty supply store, go to Nick's and find Espresso, no different. And she sent me a text message the next day and said, I love the NYX pencil, goodbye Mac. Two or three bucks for these, no different. And there's a slew of colors. Like, I think one color is like identical to Mac Mauve. Like this one is called Natural. I think this is the same as, um, what are the really good ones by Mac? The neutral ones for clear girls, like Strip Down or like, um, oh crap. I can't remember the names of the colors off the top of my head. Um, but, there are so many of them. I mean, there, there are lots of pencils. I bought, like, all of them. I bought all of them. So, I think Fuchsia is close to Magenta by MAC. I mean, it's, it's, uh, yeah. So, if you don't holler at anything else from NYX, gotta get the lip pencils for sure. L'Oreal Hip is phenomenal they have such an extensive line of products that have so much pigment so much to offer so much to offer um i was going to do a whole video just on them and i realized maybe i should just tie them in because they're part of the luxurious for cheap family too so let's go over a few things i had to take notes because there was a lot now i'll tell you the products that came out that i wasn't so crazy about um, one of which being the pigments, they're, um, not bad, but they're a little chunky. I don't like chunky. So that's the only reason why I'm not crazy about them. Another thing is the coal eyeliners. I feel like they are, they had a great idea with them. I wouldn't use them for a liner. I'd use them more for a shadow, but, um, they are like this. And this is one of the problems. If you take it out too fast, dust flies everywhere. It comes off like this. This is like an olive gold kind of color. And they've got quite a few. But I just wasn't crazy, crazy, crazy about them. Not bad. Just I'm not in love with them. Um, the paints I tried, I just didn't like them at all. For lots of reasons. And they have like shadow sticks. Sh like shadows. Uh, I didn't like them either. Okay. That's about all I didn't like. Everything else... That I'm going to cover. I'm crazy about. I haven't tried everything from the line. But I've tried a lot of it. Shadow duos. These eyeshadow duos are absolutely phenomenal. I am a freak about collecting them now. I have to just have them all. I feel like there's so many combinations you can do with them. There's so many to choose from. They've got matte duos. Um, bright. I believe they're like called bright duos duos or or something like that bright shadow duos and then they have um concentrated color duos there's so many of them there are a lot of uh people on youtube that actually have videos on just their l'oreal hip collection so it's a, becoming a cult favorite just like mac is becoming about getting the collections and hurrying up trying to get limited edition stuff brands are genius when they create limited edition stuff because you feel like you gotta have it and if you don't have it like you missed out on something so kudos to them for that I think I might have 10 duos now, possibly. Most of them I did buy on the buy one, get one free or buy one, get one half off um, sales. So I think I get them for like eight bucks or something like that. 
They're awesome. Metallic liners. They're new. They last a lot. Like, you're going to need an oil to remove them. They have, like, a glitter to them. They're really, really great. They don't move at all. They last forever. Great brand. Um, great products. I have the silver and the gold. I really want the purple. I had the black, too. I really want the purple. But it's sold out every time I try to find it. So, But the colors are very, very vivid. Very vivid. They look very expensive. So that's really great. Um, the cream eyeliners. Not up here. But um, the cream eyeliners are really, 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 really great, too. I have to say that for me being a freak about these kind of things, they're good. I would have probably preferred them be a little bit more creamy but they last for a long time they just almost feel dry they feel like after I've had a cream eyeliner for a while like and how it's not really 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 super creamy or jelly anymore this is kind of um it's not hard it's just not the texture that I'm really into but the colors work well the navy is beautiful the teal is beautiful um, the black works great. The brown works great. I, I have all of them and I really, 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 really like them. So it's a great alternative to finding, um, a, a liner. They do work very well, quite well. The crayons, the cream crayons are awesome bases. If you're using a frosty shadow, use them. They're, they're really, really great. I actually have, um, a few of them that, that work really well i mean they keep your shadow on for hours and hours and hours and hours on end the color presso glosses are great too not my favorite pretty sheer but the colors are really really great um i like the there's one color that i have that i like a lot which i'm showing you right now and i use just the one side all over and then the lightest side right in the middle that was really pretty but the things that got me stuck on L'Oreal hip are the shine struck liquid lip colors I've never in my life used glosses like these they're like liquid lipsticks like full coverage liquid lipsticks that last forever so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you four of them I'm wearing pretentious on my lips Gorgeous nude. I love it. I've been wearing it a lot lately, and it's just been a great nude color. So that's one. I'm wearing it with the Espresso by NYX. Apparently, um, you guys don't really like me to just show you the color. You want me to model it and show you how I put it on, so that's cool. We'll do that. This color is tainted. I really love this color. It's like a, a it's it's more color than plum, but it's a, it's a pretty color. I like it a lot. See how it glides on? And it looks like it's paint. So that's tainted. I like this color a lot. I wore this all day yesterday. It lasted like four hours before I had to retouch up. So that's a pretty one. Yeah. Winner. Then we're going to do one that's a little bit more electric. Purple-ish. This color is called Arresting, which looks like this. got more of a purple to it a hot pink with some purple in it love it that looks expensive that does not look like I got it for whatever price now these at where I live are 12 bucks each I don't buy these for 12 bucks because I have a Mac discount card for being a makeup artist. So I don't, I pay normally like eight bucks, I think, for lip gloss. I won't pay $12 for a gloss now. But when you get a buy one, get one free, a buy one, get one half off is a lot cheaper. And that's when I stock up. 
drugstore.com also has good deals. Drugstore.com and there's a bunch of internet spots that have good deals. And the last color I'm going to try is Turbulent. It's a fire engine red. Oh, wow. Wow, that is red. And I love it. Kind of just throwing it on, I know, but. How great is that? Full coverage. I love it. That is money well spent. So, yes. Kudos to L'Oreal Hip. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it really, really helped um, as far as you choosing products and stuff that does not cost an arm and a leg. Because it's stuff out there. Clip your coupons, get your newsletters, and all that good stuff. And feel free to leave a comment. Let us know what you love that I didn't include. See you guys soon. Bye.